The cooperation between IWA and IHE is, a, I think, a, a typical win-win situation. So the UN are close to the policy, we are close to science, technology and operation. And uh, I think the greatest lack we have actually in the world is the lack of human capacity. And UNESCO, of course, is a typical organization to spread human capacity, yeah, to education, make science and development. The, the interesting point is that uh, most of the books which have been published even in, in, together with uh, UNESCO yes, are the books for technologists, for scientists. And this, uh, I think, for the first time tries to cover the, the gap between theory and practice. The second important point is that I, I hope that this book will contribute that we get comparable data and use a similar language worldwide. Of course, one of the problems we have to solve still is to translate it into other languages, yes. We have just installed a new managing director for publishing, uh, and it turns out that the whole publishing, scientific publishing area is in a a big change. There is a challenge that more and more research foundations, they call for uh, open access publications. And this is of course, a, will change the whole system, I think. And uh, this is a, a great challenge for the publishers, but it's also a great challenge for the authors and the universities, because up to now, to publish was free of charge. I'm really very pleased with these uh, strategic development goals. I've read it through. This is, a, if you look back, yes, in the, in the first, up to about 2000, water supply was basically the only real topic on the political agenda. In uh, When the Millennium Development Goals were established, at least sanitation was added, because at the moment you supply water, you, you have more wastewater and you have to take care of. But the Strategic development goals are now a comprehensive uh, water policy far beyond even the urban water cycle, yes. And uh, it comprises the whole water management in, in the basin level and it includes also links to many other topics like agriculture, nutrition, city planning, uh, energy supply and so on. So Imagine it takes some time yes, to, to, get to have influence on, on such a huge organization. Uh, one of my favorite is the equilibrium between bottom-up and top-down. You know that IW has this strong uh, bottom-up development with the specialist groups where many members from this institution here are also chairing or contributing. and. Uh, we have a very strong young water professional program, which is also basically a bottom-up development. We have the fellows, where there is the idea to link the fellows of this institution and of IWA. And I'm very much in favor of having these, uh, say, about 35 events a year, which are mainly organized by the specialist groups. And we have the large meetings with the World Water Congress, the Development Congress, and the Leading Edge Technology Conference. Mm -hmm.